Good afternoon. This is Manira from Chicagoland. I am the CEO and founder of Kismet Ventures, Inc. I am the John Maxwell Certified Coach, a mentor, challenger, influencer. I'm also a, um, you know, a, on, on the, I'm also on a mission right now to find people who are instilling values in others. And I, I find them and then I expose them and then I promote them by putting them on my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is under my name, which is Munira. But my segment there is called Munira's Musings. Am I saying that right? Chanel, yes, that's correct. Okay. Hi, Chanel. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. It's nice to be here. Thank you for having me. You have a very lovely accent, so you have to tell us where you are from and a little bit about yourself. Okay, excellent. Well, as you know, my name is Chanel Hall Blundell. I, um, I was born in the UK, but I am living in Trinidad right now with my husband and um, four amazing but handful of children. Um, my purpose, my seek, my seek adventure is to find women who know that they can give much more to life, but basically don't know how. Okay, so tell me more about these women that you help. Okay, well, the woman I serve, basically, I am classed as the inner change warrior. And I, I empower, inspire, and motivate other warriors so that they can release that warrior that is hiding within inside of themselves. And basically, I believe that there's a warrior in each woman, in each one of us, that are just sort of hidden. It is hidden because we have had past relationships, past interactions with people, that may have left us hurt, may have left us in a position that we have given up on what beautiful life has to offer us. We feel stuck in certain situations that we don't think that there is any hope of getting out. And basically we lose our confidence, we lose our warrior-ness, fireness, that we have so much in us that we just become stagnant. We come just yet another number. So as a result of working with me, speaking with me, talking with me, I empower that. I, I, I bring that out. I remove all the, the, the stumbling blocks and I get you charged as a warrior so you can live the life that I know that you truly, truly deserve. That's awesome. So <laughs> why do you think that women don't, uh, why do you think women don't, don't, you know, are hiding their warrior self? Uh, I do believe it's fear. Um, you know, as women, we believe that uh, we are strong and we are strong. But sometimes when we ask for help, it's not because that we are weak, it's that because we want to remain strong. And the asking for help from a woman, it, it may seem that they're not capable. It breaks them down. Um, it makes them feel that they just, you know, it's normal. This is the life that they should live. But deep down, that they know that they deserve better. They know that the, their life has something so much more, that their story is bigger than themselves. And because of that, they are scared. They are scared to come out to ask one for help. And they are scared to even put their light out. Because as women, we are, we are born leaders. We are born warriors. And we take on a lot of emotional baggage. And we carry it. And it's okay to have it. Don't ever feel story. Don't ever feel sorry for my story, because my story gives you empowerment. So you know that it is possible. That whatever you did go through, that is just that is just a scar. That is a scar that you will wear on your hand to show you know what I made it. And that's why I came up with the theme of warriors, because warriors fight. Warriors don't give up. We don't take the elevator. We take the steps. And when we take the steps, we can take a rest. That's okay. But to stop. They, we cannot stop. We have a no matter what attitude that it must get done, it will get done, and it is possible. So how do you find these women? I find these women by reaching out um, to my local uh, Facebook group. I network with other uh, Facebook groups that have women who are similar, who are procrastinating, who feel alone. Um, I do speaking in my local church, in local events, in my local community. 
and I basically make myself very open and aligned to my purpose. I do know that um, in, in my personal life, it took me over seven years to become this woman I'm speaking to, you're speaking to right now, um, because I had those same fears, I had those same doubts. After leaving a 10-year marriage and getting involved with a gentleman, I was still um, married at that time, and I became pregnant. And that, that time, um, it was the worst time of my life to me not knowing that was the day and that period that I changed and matured into my warrior. So I tell my story with, with honor. I tell my story because I have nothing to hide, to defend, or even to explain. I, I share my story out of strength to know that other women who are experiencing um, change, who are experiencing that they know that they're different uh, and that they know that they have something to give, it is possible and you can live the life that you deserve and it is possible that you can turn your life around so i reach out to people like yourself uh i reach out through podcasts i i have written a book as well uh, my book is it's easy as abc where i share my personal story of how i went uh from a victim to basically a warrior so i i i, I reach out a lot <laughs> That's awesome. So let me ask you this. You said you were born in the UK? That's correct. And now you're in Trinidad? Yes. Huge difference, right? <laughs> yes. So how did you end up from over there to across the pond? I know. Uh, well, my, my mom is from Trinidad and my father is English. Uh, my first husband, um, 10 years, perfect marriage, no issues. Um, I got married at 18 and 10 years later, I'm thinking, oh my God, um, I didn't feel that this was for me. I felt that it was a greater calling on my life and we wanted different things at the same time. And I took the courage to end a very loving, perfect relationship, two daughters uh, with my first husband, to come to Trinidad with nothing. I left my home, I, I, I left my, my job, I left my belongings. I just took my kids two bags and said, hi, mommy, I'm home. <laughs> and that was the crash down of me. That is when I began to know my darkness. That is when I really started to seek the, the, the real journal, the, the purpose of why I'm here. So, and that is why I came to Trinidad because my mom was here and I grew up here. My childhood is based in Trinidad. And in that time of uh, officially separating from my husband, not legally divorced, I found someone who came into my life because both of us were broken. We both wanted the same things at the same time. And I became pregnant um, just after six months of telling my husband, I don't think it's gonna work. And that was another part of darkness that overcame me. And I became my own storm. And in my journey, um, especially being pregnant of the nine months, I refused to accept that this was happening to me until one day, I finished, took a bath, and I sat at the edge of, her, of my bed. And her hand just literally ran across my stomach. And I jumped because it was like the first time, uh, Monira, that I had experienced uh, this kind of movement. And the next time I, I held, uh, I attempted to put my hand on my stomach, and her fingers and my fingers touched. And that is the moment where I literally, you know, when you just cry uncontrollably, drop to my knees and, and I ask myself one question, what am I doing? And in my, in my own darkness, uh, my inner voice, my inner warrior answered, my God, whoever, you know, we, we, we class as the almighty, said to me, move. And I'm like, move, I've already moved five times. Where do you want me to go? And it was move to your better version. And that was the exact story. And that is my foundation of becoming uh, a life coach, as you see me here today, that I can inspire other women, uh, that it is necessary for us to go in our darkness. It is necessary for us to go through our challenges. It is necessary for us to know the other side of us so we can appreciate when we become full of abundance or become full of prosperity. And that's my message. That's that's an awesome message because not everybody has that feeling or whatever that that moment of clarity. Not everybody has that. So I really appreciate you sharing that. So when you find 
women. And how long have you been doing this? Um, since October last year, so I'm a fresh newbie off the block. <laughs> and your, you have success stories? I have a few success stories. Um, most of my women I work with, um, just recently, uh, a lady from Jamaica had been uh, looking for a job for over eight months. I helped her uh, redo her, her curriculum vitae. I helped her prepare herself mentally because, of course, the women I work with are broken down in the sense of they lose their confidence. They lose their pizzazz. As I say, they lose their warriorness. So I, I do a lot of self-work. That's why I'm called the inner change warrior, I believe that what we want to have manifest on our outside must start from in our inside. And we must live life from the inside so that what on the outside can relate to how we are thinking, how we feel and how we act and definitely how we behave. So I, I, do a, I have um, a couple of my women who on my Facebook private group um, have about 88 women. We do about two regular lives, constant every day, showing up every day, um, giving them that 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 money that manifestation of it is possible, and yes, a few success stories. And I always say, if I can just touch one person a day, I'm good with that. <laughs> That's awesome. So, are you just teaching them how to get out of the misery and be become sustainable, be self sustained? I am teaching them how to tap into their greatest version. I'm, t I'm teaching them that they can live their life basically on their terms, on whatever their happiness is defined for them. For example, my happiness and my freedom would be to travel. I I've always wanted that. I want it to be sort of location free. That is my freedom. Another woman's freedom may be just to, have a, a, to own her own business. So whatever their freedom looks like, whatever their happiness looks like, I work with you, I, I guide you, and we do a lot of self-work because basically every woman has the same need. It's just different avenues. So it's all the, self, all the same self-work. It's the mindset, removing fears, facing your doubts, uh, how not to pro procrastinate uh, a lot. How to believe and definitely how to love yourself again. I think that's the key word here. How to love yourself and how to forgive and move on. So I teach and I coach on life mindset, your inner self, tapping into that greater version, that warrior, so that you can live life fruitlessly, effortlessly. You become a magnet onto people who are also like-minded like yourself who are free for possibility, who are full of abundance, full of prosperity. And you can then literally love the life that you're living. So let me ask you, what kind of, what ages of women are you, are you working with? I work between, uh, my target group is between 33 and 50. Uh, most of my women right now are from the Caribbean. I have one or two probably uh, in the States. But uh, I would say 80% of my women are in the Caribbean. Okay. And then, and so why that particular age? Is that something that women are trying to reinvent themselves? I think so. I think it's the, I mean, I, it just happens to be that age because I was looking uh, really for between the age of 30, 18 and God knows when, you know, because I believe you can know your purpose. There is no age. But I do think that age bracket that has been attracted that I'm mostly dominating now is because that is where you reach what we'll call the midlife <laughs> crisis, right? Where you think, oh my God, okay, why am I not living the life that I should? Why do I see other people moving on and I just feel so stuck? Why is it that I'm not tapping into this greatness that everybody says that exists? And that is when the, the cell phone self question comes. That is when the awareness kicks in. So when, you know, when my clients become aware that they want more, but they just don't know how, they tap in. They, they get more connected to the message. They understand now that their journey, it's, it's not necessarily a sprint, but a marathon. And I always say that self-development is not an overnight day. It's not an overnight trick. I have no magic dust, no fairy potion. It doesn't come wrapped up in a box and says, hi, here is prosperity. Have you been waiting for me? It's something that we got to work with and work for and work towards because it all begins with you. Everything begins with you. So the, the, the uh, sermons that I have, 
the lives that I have is so deeply grounded in knowing who you are, knowing your purpose, what it is that you have to do, how do I tap into my purpose, all of these things. And it doesn't matter what you really want at the end. Once you do the groundwork of knowing who you are, what you want, removing what there is within you, that comes to you naturally. You, you, you align yourself and it's free for you. And then you think, oh my God, I did it. I, I now understand what you're talking about, Janelle. Okay, so I'm going to be the devil's advocate here. Please, so I love that. Many women are going to say, I don't need your help. That's true. How do you convince them to be that they need your help? Because I know that women go through phases in life Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, the things that are just happening in life and it, it just happens that we, we need help but we are, we are not asking for it but when somebody offers it to us we say we don't need it. The norm that we women will not take help so how do you find Okay, I basically um, ask them one question, Manira. And the question is, where you are in your life right now, is it where you would want to be? And they say, yes. I say, great, excellent. You, are, you have achieved what it is you wanted to achieve. Yes? And then they would say, no, but. Or yes, I'm good. And if yes, I'm good, I'm all good with them. I'm great. I said, okay, thank you for your time. But most of the women, including myself, I am not even where I would want to be. All this, speaking to you, Manira, speaking to the whoever I'm speaking to right now, and I'm, I'm, I, I, I hope that I touch, if it's just not one listener, I hope that I, I could impact and inspire that one because my job is not to convince anybody that I can turn your life around. All I'm saying is to hear me out. And if that inner switch switches on or that light or or that something goes okay she's speaking something that i think that i need to know more of then continue listening to me because i don't want anybody to believe what i have to say i want them to experience it i want that light to switch on i want them to be aware because that is when the the transformation happens when you're when they say to themselves okay yes she said something that just landed in my garden I've got to see what it is, right? Even if they say, no, I'm not where I am. That's excellent because you have now made that next step of admitting that you want to be better. It's not admitting that you failed. It's not admitting that you did something wrong. It's not admitting that, that other people were right about what they said. And it's definitely not admitting what others think of you because that's none of your business. It's admitting that, I know I have more and I know I want more and I don't expect people to give it to me. But in order for me to, to provide it, in order for it to be manifested in my life, then something's got to change. And I'm willing. I'm done with you, Janelle. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's see what it is that I need to fix in order for me to get my life where I want it to be, where I see myself, where I envision, where my future version lies, where my warrior self exists. It is possible. Okay, okay. I understand that. But then some people who are ready, some people have, who are ready, who have family problems and won't allow them to be in your home. Then what do you do to those women? If we have, I'm sorry, you broke up there. If you have family problems. So you have family members who don't mm -hmm. allow you to be in the program. Yes. There's no support. And, and how do I deal with uh, these, these women who yeah. have no support? Uh, well, <laughs> that's a very ticklish one because um, most of uh, the women, and I'm speaking on experience of the women that I've worked with, um, their main support is usually their companion, probably one out of two of the women. The other eight women find themselves alone. They find themselves alone because they have drifted from their, what they think thought was their support shoulder. They, as they thought that their family was with them. They thought that their good friends, whatever that they were tapping into for some energy did not come up to Trump. 
and they feel alone. That's one of the things they always say that I don't really socialize. I don't really go out. Heck, I don't even have somebody to cry on. It's basically all by myself. And I, and, and I say to them, that is okay. That is okay because when you are in the, the progress or, or the process, sorry, I should say, of knowing who you are, it is a journey by yourself. And when you start to change the way that you think, that you're not really by yourself because the people that you, are, you want to be attracted into your life will automatically come. But you have to change the way that you think. You have to change the way that, that you see things. Because when we keep looking at our glass that is always halfway empty rather than half full, things appear differently. So with the support system, there's groups though. There you can go on other groups. You don't have to, to, to show your name, your address. There's other support systems that you can tap into. You can listen to other speakers. You can read books. You can go onto YouTube. I mean, Google in itself, Manura, is like the walking Bible. There is so much information there that you don't need to feel alone even though that your mind is trying to play tricks because that's what it does. The mind is a huge trickster. It tells you that you need to stand up for yourself, by yourself, within yourself and say, you know what? I may be physically alone, but I'm dead sure that there's somebody out there that is going to help me. That is dead sure that somebody's going to listen to my story and I am going to find it. When we take charge and our responsibility and accountability for who we are and not accept what society tells us, things change. A hell of a lot thing changes, Marina. Thank you so much for bringing that up because, you know, I, you know a few years ago, I was there, right? I didn't yes. vote. I didn't think I needed help, but I did need help. And I didn't know how to get it, right? If you are aware of yourself, then you have the intentionality. It doesn't work. And you have to help yourself to in order to grow. In order to grow, you have to, you know, in, it has to be intentional growth. I appreciate you bringing up the warrior because I feel like some stirring happening already that I'm going to become a warrior. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Glad to have you on board. <laughs> You're right because we all women are born strong. Yes. And but we never put ourselves first. Right. So, how about you know let Janelle take care of you and bring that warrior out? Absolutely. And and you know, Manira, the key is I only bring out what is already inside of you. I only discover it. I rediscover it. I relight. I I relight it to fire. I push it past your discomfort. I push it out of you, and you do the rest. That's all I do. You do all the hard work. You, you, you've got to do the ground work. All I do is to help you see the true warrior that is already within you. That is so true. Any last words for our viewers? Uh, for, for all my, my, my woman warrior, all, I, I want to say that I'm sorry that I took so long to show up for you guys because I know that this has been a purpose for me for a very long time. And just like you right now listening to this, uh, you may think, wow, who's going to listen to me? What, what can my story do? I mean, this girl, she probably doesn't know anything. I was once there and I took long for showing up. And I, and I apologize to all the women warriors who are waiting for me. I am finally here. And because I am here, I am willing to, to work and serve you so that you can truly, truly live this life. Because you know what, ladies? We have one life to live. We just don't know when it's going to end. And let's live every day at this. It's not our last, but this is our first day. And I remember watching an advert uh, with someone eating a galaxy piece of chocolate. And at the end, the titles was, Live This Day As It's Your One Day. And the advert was from the, the, from the birth to her death. One day. And I think that is how we should look at life. We should understand that let's make this the best Janelle life. Let's make this the best Manira life. Let's make this the best warrior life. Whoever is listening, I hope that something switched on to you today and you can now activate your personal warrior. I can be reached on, on my Facebook page on the Inspire 
because again i love to inspire empower and motivate you women and i would love to have you on board just to get on board and, and talk to other warriors so, and support another warrior because your story could affect and help somebody else and vice versa. Just trust the process and believe that you are worth it, uh, that you do matter, and it is possible. Thank you so much. For those our viewers that are watching us, please find us on YouTube. Like and subscribe to our channel. We will have information from Janelle's page as well. And we can connect her from there. And I appreciate your time and thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you.